Hey there, you're watching the first Go Island in September, coming to you from the Sprout Lake Boat Launch. Aaron Vissia Financial Go Island is brought to you by Aaron Vissia Financial. Well, hello there. You are watching Go Island coming to you today from the boat launch at the Sprout Lake Provincial Park, where we're talking about the Sprout Lake Marine Patrol. And we're doing this because there is a binding referendum coming up on this fall's ballot. Everybody in the regional district will vote on whether they want to fund, permanently fund, the Sprout Lake Marine Patrol. So we thought, well, what the heck, we should come on out and tell you a little bit more about what the Marine Patrol is. Now, we've been out here over the years and done several stories, but we're going to the experts today because I'm here with Ashley Jones, this year's lead hand with Marine Patrol. Ashley, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Oh, I'm doing very well. Ashley, for the folks out there, what does the Marine Patrol do? Well, our main job is here at the ramp and we help boats coming in and out of the water. We help trailer them and launch them. And then we also control the traffic coming in and out of the water. Another main part of our job is loaning out life jackets here at the ramp. So we see a lot of people coming out for that. Excellent. And when you say you assist them, they don't have to pay. This is a free service for everybody. No, yep, it's free. We're just here to help everyone out, make sure that everything goes smoothly and there's no major hazards here. Excellent. I'm guessing that, like, my husband and I have launched boats, we've parked trailers. I'm guessing that this is a high stress place for a lot of families. Oh yeah, it can get very chaotic out here. So it's just good to have some extra hands out, just helping everybody in the atmosphere, just making it calm and just helping everybody launch safely. And what kind of response do you get from the folks that you're helping out? They're all really grateful that we're out here to help. Some people come out by themselves and they they can't really hold their boat and park at the same time so we're here helping with that. Make sure everything flows smoothly so no one's up here waiting for so long so they're just really great. I bet you some of them are surprised. Yeah they're like oh what are you guys out here for? Like do we need to pay? And I'm like no we're just here to help you make sure everything goes smoothly. Wow. Well, I know there are a lot of other things that this group does all summer long. We're going to tell you about them in just a minute. We'll tell you a little bit about, more about the referendum that's coming up. But first, we're going to head out to the farm where I've met three very hardworking young ladies. Well, welcome back. You are still watching Go Island. We are here early September. We are here at the Sprout Lake Boat Launch, where all summer long the Sprout Lake Marine Patrol has been assisting boaters launching their boat, handing out life jackets, and doing all sorts of other things. And I am here with Shayla Frechette, who is another one of the members of this past season's Sprout Lake Marine Patrol. Shayla, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing well. Shayla, this has got to be one of the best summer jobs ever. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, now, we were talking a little bit earlier about um, the Kids Don't Float program, the program that has life jackets lent out. Tell me a little bit about how that works. Yeah, so we have all sizes. We even have dog life jackets if your dog needs a life jacket. So you can come here and we just sign out your name and then you can take it for a day or a few days if you don't have one. And yeah, it's great. Now, I'm sure people are surprised by this, that you just lend them out. Yeah, everyone's like, oh, how much do we owe you? And it's free, so it's really nice. It must be wonderful. I can't imagine anything more important than having proper life jackets on your kids in the boat. Dog need life jackets too? Are they popular? Uh, well, yeah, we have two, so <laughs> a lot of time they get rented out. Now, I, I mentioned earlier that you do a lot more too. I know not everything is done on the water, but you do a lot more on the water. Yeah, so we do water testing on the water. We test the clarity and the temperature, and we also do garbage pickups on from the beaches there, and then we also just patrol the lake and give people toes and jump start. How often do you have to tow people? I think we did 10 toes this year, so. Holy samole, that's yeah. a lot. I think, and then five jump starts, just at the ramp here. Just at the ramp. And do you have an idea how many people like that you help out here, like on a daily or a weekend basis? Yeah, on one of the Sundays in July, we helped 171 people in just one day, and no over 3,000 people in the summer. Unbelievable. Yeah. Now, are those all local people? Or are they visitors to the area? Um, lots of people are from Victoria and Nanaimo, but lots of locals as well. Unbelievable. So you obviously believe this is a valuable service. Oh, most definitely. Excellent. 
Well, I'm glad you told me about it today, Shayla. Great summer job. Yeah. Good on you for <laughs> scoring this one. We're going to come back in just a moment, talk a little bit more about the referendum, about what is being decided in this binding referendum coming up in November. But first, I had the chance to meet a woman who knows exactly what's important. <laughs> Well, welcome back. You are still watching Go Island. We are still here at the boat ramp at the Sprout Lake Provincial Park talking about the Sprout Lake Marine Patrol, kind of a unique service that is offered here on Sprout Lake to assist boaters um, as they come down to launch their boats. They patrol the waters, you know, trying to keep it safe, keeping boats away from the swimming area, and they clean up the beach. And Ashley has been doing this for two years? Yep, this is my second year here. You must really enjoy it. Yeah, it's a great summer job to have. Now, I was talking a little bit earlier to Shayla about how many out-of-towners come and use the boat ramp. Have you seen a lot of folks from all over? Oh yeah, they come from all over the island. We get even some from Alberta. A lot came for the regatta that we had here, so that was really cool. And I know that, that this is a, a local lake, a local area where a lot of locals come, mm -hmm. but do you think Sprout Lake is a tourism draw for the entire region? Oh, it definitely is. A lot of people come. There's a lot of people from Germany and around there. So it's definitely, we have the water bombers. The lake is so nice. So they all want to come and see that. Excellent. Now, in the past, um, and I'm not, we're not going to go into figures because they do change slightly every year. In the past, this program has been paid for in part by the regional district and in part by grants. Am yep. I correct? Yep. From Transport Canada, yes. Transport Canada. So that has meant that in the past, it's the future has been in doubt every year. They have to look for grants again. Yeah. Yeah. Am I correct? Yes. Now, we do not have the wording for the question that you're going to be asked to answer at the referendum coming up in November. But if you go to the Regional District website, um, you will find complete information. There will be dollar figures attached to it, and there will be the question that you're being asked to vote on. Because I think the girls here really understand the value of it locally. The question that you're going to be asked is whether the entire Regional District should pay for this, make it a permanently funded service offered on Sprout Lake every summer, hiring lovely young ladies like Ashley and Shayla to take care of our tourists um, as they do and help them launch their boats and stay safe on the lake. Thank you so much for telling me about it today. No problem, thanks for coming. Oh, it's my pleasure. Um, and we've been down here many, many times and let me tell you, this is a high stress place. So having this crew down here um, helping launch the boats, I think does de-stress things a little bit, but it's the funding that is in question, whether the regional district residents want to pay for it permanently. Now we're almost at the end of our show, but since it is September, it's only fitting that we look back at some of what was going on in the Alberni Valley this long, hot summer. Well, that does bring us to the end of Go Island, the Sprout Lake Marine Patrol edition. Again, for more information about the question that will be asked on the referendum in November, go to the Regional District website. Until we meet again, be good to each other. Aaron Vissia Financial Go Island is brought to you by Aaron Vissia Financial, supporting community and providing personalized advice and service to clients since 1996. Our team is ready to help you with your financial future.